Hello, and welcome to this M24SR Discovery Kit video. In this video, I will show you 10 different use cases embedded in the M24SR Discovery Premium Board. The M24SR is a dynamic NFC RFID tag that can be connected by two interfaces, allowing the application to be accessed by those two ways. The first with radio frequency protocol through NFC smartphone. The second is serial interface through the host, in this demo, an STM32F103 microcontroller. Click on the icon to start the demo you would like to see. When you click on the URL icon, the MCU sends a command to store the URL in the M24SR Dynamic NFC RFID tag. Approach an NFC phone, and the web page with the URL address stored is opened in its browser. You can store any page link to help a user access the right user manual link, the right product page, etc. When you need to update the link, launch the M24SR application on the board, put the phone near the board, select NDEF Editor, then URL, and enter a new URL address. You are able to control the updated URL on the M24SR Discovery board screen. Click on the SMS icon to store an SMS in the M24SR that has been previously included in the microcontroller firmware. We can check through the demo board display what is the content of the SMS. Approach an NFC phone and the SMS is ready to be sent. It should be a message to the customer care center to remind them about the next maintenance appointment. If you want to update the SMS content, Launch the M24SR application on the board, put the phone near the board, select NDEF Editor, then SMS, and enter a new SMS. For example, Hello, please don't forget your next year's appointment with the operator. Thank you. You can check on the M24SR discovery screen or on the phone that the SMS has been updated. Click on the email icon. You've now stored the email text included in the MCU firmware into the M24SR Dynamic NFC RFID tag. Approach the NFC form to the M24SR Discovery Board, and you'll see the email ready to be sent. It could be a warranty message, an advertising email, etc. If you want to modify the email, launch the M24SR application, NDEF Editor, Mail, and write the new email content. Dear Colleague, Update of the firmware and the meter reading has been done on 2505-2014. Thank you. Then tap on Write. You can check on the M24SR Discovery screen that the mail text is loaded in the M24SR Dynamic NFC RFID tag. Click on the icon Store vCard to get the vCard stored in the M24SR through the MCU I2C bus. Put the NFC-enabled phone near the M24SR Discovery Board, and the customer support contact is stored in the phone, as you can see. Click on the Bluetooth icon to store the Bluetooth address in the M24SR that has been previously included in the microcontroller firmware. The Bluetooth module is visible on the bottom of the board. Then on Set Bluetooth NDEF in M24SR. Basically, I can take my cell phone, hold it over the demo kit, do an NFC pair to the device, and my music from the phone is streaming to the Bluetooth module and out the wired speakers. I'm I won't believe you, honey. Click on the geolocalization icon to store GPS points in the M24SR that have been previously programmed in the MCU firmware. When you approach the NFC phone, you read the position. Imagine you put this component on any device. Each time you use it, you can record the position. And if you don't remember where you put it, it will help you to remember. Very helpful to keep track of your assets. My app shows what it is possible to develop with an STM32 microcontroller and an M24SR Dynamic NFC RFID tag. First, download the phone app. Second, launch the demo app then launch the M24SR app on the phone, NDEF, M24SR Demo tab. I want to get LEDs blinking 1, 3, and 4, for example, at an average speed. 
Click on Write the Parameter to store the LED blinking sequence in the demonstration board. You can develop and implement your own application as we are providing source code and complete firmware. As I click on Write the Parameter, it is stored in the demonstration board, and LEDs 1, 3, and 4 start blinking. Select RF on off. If you enable the RF, it is possible to read the tag. When the RF is disabled, it is no longer possible to detect the M24SR. This function might be helpful to hide the presence of the tag in your application when it is not being used. Select GPO and also launch its part on the M24SR Android application. The four red squares show that there will be an interrupt on the microcontroller due to an RF operation. As such, the example demonstrates how to wake up your application with an NFC communication. Click on the Password tab on the Discovery Board, Password Authentication, Enable Password, Enable Write Password, for example, then launch the M24SR Android application, and a tabulation appears, Unlock NDEF File. This will help to protect read or write accesses, or both, to the memory. Let's load a business card in the memory. This is derived from the MCU firmware. Approaching the phone, the business card is downloaded and the contact page opens. Then let's change the message in the memory through the RF interface. Launch the M24SR Android application, email tab, and the example warranty message can be stored inside the memory. We can check on the screen of the demo board that the email is well programmed. Now let's update parameters with my app which demonstrates what it is possible to do combining the specific function of the dynamic tag interacting with the STM32. So, download phone app, then launch demo app, later launch the M24SR app on the phone, NDEF, M24SR demo tab. I want to get LEDs blinking 1, 3, and 4, for example, at high speed. As I click on Write the Parameter, it is stored in the demonstration board and LEDs 1, 3, and 4 start blinking. Now you can develop your own application. If you want to see more demos of the function of the M24SR, click on another button. Thank you for your attention. For more information, please visit www.st.com slash M24SR Discovery.